Hey Cancer, so I'm here to do September's energy reads for yourself. I am using my Empowerment Oracle deck and I will be clarifying before going to the extended, which is a deeper reading, um, as to advice, what's been going on, what's coming on, what's going on at present. Um, so I clarify all cards. So these will be extended, as I said, you can get that in the extended link on Patreon, which is in the description box below. Just hit Patreon, sign up, you can check your soul, moon, rising, and your Venus. Check on other people's if you want. I will be back in two weeks to do the love reading. So this is a general reading. Anything, I'll just go with what comes out. Um, also, there's a competition running on my YouTube at the moment for a 30-minute reading with myself on WhatsApp, Zoom, Skype, Facebook Messenger, whichever is easiest for yourself. That will be drawn in two weeks. And all you need to do to enter that is write in the comment box below, I am divinely guided. That's all I want you to do. So, I'm going to jump straight in. I've got yours and Scorpio's to do, and then I am off to bed. I am shattered. I've been suffering uh, insomnia again. And I'm sorry, I did go AWOL for a little bit. I went on a bit of a self-love journey. That's what I'll call it. <laughs> so, the main energy is the secret keeper. The secret keeper to me is, I drew this card because I feel like, well, it's a bullshit radar. Your bullshit radar's on. You know, you may be like kind of, I want to say, I don't want to say keeping yourself small, but mm, feeling a bit introverted at the minute. You know, keep yourself to yourself. That That's more what I was saying, what I wanted to say. You know you can trust, you know you need to be wary of, and I feel like you're in like a quite powerful position in that sense. Um, you know, you, you're trusting your intuition. So the challenge now is to accept the guidance that's on offer. So you could be trying to work with spirit, you could be wanting to be guided towards somebody, you know, if you're looking for love, that's happened. Yeah. Um, again, I feel like this is more of a journey about you. You know, you've picked up that spiritual lantern, which shows me you've been through hard times. Um, you know, we usually have to go through the dark night of the soul in order to gain the spiritual lantern. Then once we've got it, we carry on venturing forward and the future's dark. We don't know exactly where we're going to be going. But you've got that spiritual lantern. So every step forward is going to be illuminated now. So you're being guided. You're being, you know, shown. There's, an, there's a person in that light. So you may be sensing spirit around you. Parties that um, add quite a lot of spiritual energy in their reading. You may have parties in your chart. If so, go and check it out. Why is it coming around now? We've got love. So love is the heart of the matter. So you could be wanting to live from a place of love. Um, you know, you could be wanting to manifest love. You could have already met the person that you're supposed to be with. But I feel like you're just doing things from love, from a place of love, which is a nice energy to be in. In the recent past, we have got a need for balance. So I do feel like you've gone through a period, Cancer, where you've been, you've had to kind of make some tough judgment calls in especially what needed to be released. You know, because it looks like you've been through the ringer and you wanted to just be able to kind of, I just want to chill out. I just want to be balanced. I just want to, you know, but I feel like you've put the work in to get to that. Um, could be dealing with Libra. You may have Libra in your chart. There could have been some uh, legal situations going on with the need for balance being there. I just keep looking at the scales. Um, so there could have been some legal advice, some legal situations that were going on. My water bottle keeps popping on its own. <laughs> so at present, we've got a choice in direction. I do love this card. You know, we're going into those autumn months. Um, you could be feeling very, like, oldie worldy at the minute. I don't even know why I want to say that. But, like, venturing off into the forest and, you know, can't wait till... Autumn is my favourite season. Um, I'm, I'm kind of getting that energy with this with these cards as well um but i feel like you're weighing up your choices in direction now it's where do i go you know i know where i've been and i don't feel like you're venturing back down that path to where you've been i feel like your paths are expanding you, you know um your paths could be like kind of interlocking with someone else's near future we do have healing hands so you're definitely going through a healing um there could be a healing vibe around you we've also got the throat chakra so when the throat chakra comes out with the healing hand, you may be going towards um, a tutor, a mentor, um, a tarot reader, a medium, you know, that type of thing, even Reiki. But I kind of feel like your voice carries 
certain healing maybe you know what to say maybe you're working on your channeling you know your messages uh diaries journals that type of thing channeling information from spirit i feel like there's going to be some important conversations coming up but in the sense of healing it's all about healing it's all about you now being guarded forward to maybe heal connections especially in regards to love love connections family that type of thing your power in this situation cancer is freedom <laughs> bit of william wallace there for your cancer and i do i feel like it is that free i feel like you're feeling that because your power is to be free from especially that you know i feel like you freed yourself so you may have felt like you were on a bit of a white knuckle ride in the past in the recent past Maybe you're still feeling a bit like that, but you, but you are coming to the end of that. You know, you're going for that freedom now. You're breaking away, you're breaking free. The outside influence to your reading is soul sisters. So you've got good people around you. You've got soul family, you've got spirit, you know, you've got soul mates. It, it's all, Patsy's energy was very much like yours. Um, you've got that type of tribe, that soul tribe energy going on around you so i feel, I feel like you're kind of freeing yourself from the norm or any negativity you're going for a more like kind of natural frequency when it's in regards to the people that are around you it's nice someone else got a similar reading about you know being outside and natural and letting go of the past i think it were a fire sign could be leo or aries in the hopes and fears position, it's it's a fear of going back to that. You know, feeling like you were... Because I do feel like at one point you were a prisoner of your own mind. So you may have had to wear a brave face for quite a while. Uh, but inside, if on the outside, people could not have even contemplated what you were thinking on the inside. Because the inside was so busy. You know, what do I do next? Is there any answers coming through? It just feels like you were constantly searching for some kind of answers um and it is it's that prison of the mind but to me that's just a fear because your cards don't resonate with that vibration i feel like you've already been there because your outcome is lilith my guide my sweetheart lilith you're going through a transformation lilith is the protector she's the protector of the abused you know, she will rally round. She will give you that power to go up against abusers, um, be it energetically or physically, you know, especially like in legal situations and things like that. It's that divine feminine energy. And it she helps you with the art of setting boundaries and standing your ground when you, when you go to war against these type of energies, especially when it's been like a mental war as well. Um, Lilith came to me at a time when I was... I'd just been through quite a lot of like physical violence. Um, so I hope that if that is your story, you're already out of it and you know you're already finding the help. But I feel like this 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 divine feminine energy within you, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, and it's like, no, I'm not putting up with that anymore. That is not who I am. I am not a walkover. I might have kept my mouth shut for a while, but this time I won't, or this time I wouldn't. So I feel like you're not going back to that. Um, so maybe that's why it is like, you know, you're realising what you're deserving of in love. So I want to look at the secret keeper. I do feel like you've kept a lot to yourself. The star, sign of Aquarius. You may have Aquarius in your chart, or dealing with Aquarius. The star is a blessing. You, you know, there's blessings coming after these lessons. Yeah, the five of wands in reverse. There's definitely been some kind of like ruckus drama. So the gardens. Yeah, don't give up. Set that goal and keep on going. My favourite card of the tarot. You know, you may get pulled off track every now and again. But if you're on a spiritual journey, we all know that's a pain. The need for balance, we've got the lovers, Gemini energy there, definitely a spiritual link as well. But so there could have been something going on in love life. There could have been, you know, there could definitely have been like some kind of abuse going on. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like in the past, your emotions, you know, there could have been tears, that type of thing. You were feeling in reverse. I want to look towards the throat chakra and the healing. 
yeah we've got the devil in reverse see i do feel like you're going up against abusers um or helping other people go up against abusers it could be you know i know you haven't got the trump card but you know your experiences or your qualifications that type of energy yeah it's the way you speak the eight of wands so i feel like the, the fact that you can put boundaries into place now um you're not going to bring those types of people in anymore i feel like you can rest easy on that um, I also think that you've got a message to carry. You're freeing yourself from attacks, the Page of Swords in reverse. That could be within yourself as well, though. You, you know, we've got the Ace of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Ender there. But the Ace of Wands is like newfound passions. Get What are you passionate about? If you've been on your own for a while because something like this was going on, it's like you're ready for that next journey, you know. So tell me why Lilith is here as the outcome for cancer. Why's Lilith here? The chariot for you. She's here for you. She's here to help you move forward. The Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But Lilith is here to help you cut the cord to the past. Because the Queen of Swords, she's been through the ringer. She's, you know, people call her the ass queen, but she's not. It's just the case of that she's been through so much and she's been hurt she will cut the cord to, uh, towards anyone now if it's almost like right step forward and tell me a story or what you want from me and that type of thing and is if you if it doesn't resonate on what you want in life you'll find it so much easier to say no you'll find it so much easier to cut the cord and i feel like there's a massive boundary setting going on you know you're realizing maybe where your boundaries have lacked in the past you, you know maybe you've crossed your own boundaries um but i do feel like there's new commitments going forward there's definitely a lot of healing and a lot of love coming in from spirit so i'm going to jump into your extended so if this is where i leave you i'll leave you with lots of love for meeting you on the extended so i'm going to dissect the full reading <laughs> 